So now after everything dries, we're going to start gluing these together to our wood. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to glue this together. So the only thing I did was took my piece of wood and just glued it to the square. Trying, we're going to start forming our box. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other end. So this is the front part of your box, the inside and the sides of your box. So I'm going to do the same thing using three more sticks to the other side. So now I'm going to glue my last three sticks down. And this is the bottom of the box. And I left like a little bit of rum over here. Just like I said, this is the bottom. Just putting glue where I know I want to place them. So the box is done. This is the front, the side other side and this is the bottom so I took some white thumbtacks because let me tell you the nails is too thick they crack this thin piece of like wood it's cracking the wood and also split this um, you can see now I decided not to use the nails but the thumbtacks just give it an extra hold you know because I didn't have no E6000 so I just used thumbtacks and I put them on just the front and the back of the box on the end of them. That's all I did. And you can get these dumb tags from the Dollar Tree. So now I'm just going to go ahead and distress my box. So here's your box all done. I even distressed these. So now I'm going to take them Dollar Tree um, jars and I'm just going to cut off a piece of the burlap ribbon and I'm going to place them, place it around the jar using my hot glue gun. Now, if you don't want to glue this on your jaws for, you know, and not leave glue behind it, just glue it on top of, make it a little bit, cut it a little bit longer. You can glue it on top of, glue the burlap ribbon on top of itself. 
And that's all you want to do to all three of your jaws. So after um, I added this, what I wanted to do this before I added that is you can add some rope to the side as like little handles. I'm going to go ahead and knot this rope. Pull it into a knot. Sorry, I'm not in the camera. I'm trying to make it really tight. I'm going to do the same thing to the other end. Putting a knot in it. And this will be my handle for the side of my box. So... I'm going to go ahead and cut this down just a little bit more. I'm going to take and add some glue gun, some, mm, some glue to the tips of the knot where I cut it and just stick it on the sides as a handle. Or at least to give um, the look that it looks like a handle. And so that is what it will look like once you added the glue in your handle. I'm going to do the same to the other side. So for the next DIY, you're going to need some more of the paint sticks that we was just use, using, which is 10. And you need the other one that um, we didn't use for the box, the basket. You're going to need some wood stain. This is the Rust-Oleum Dark Walnut Wood Stain. You're going to need um, either a stencil or some vinyl words. I just cut out my, with my cooking machine, Farmhouse. You're going to need some black and white paint. This is chalk paint and this is just acrylic paint. You're going to need some thumbtacks. You're going to need 12 of those. And you're going to need a piece of foam just to stick your thumbtacks down in like this. So you can paint them with the black paint. So I'm going to go ahead and stain my wood and paint my thumbtacks. So now once your um, pieces of wood dry, now you might see me, as I said, not to do um, stain both sides. These things have numbers on, like kind of like a ruler. So I made a mistake and was painting, oh, staining that side. And you see how you can see it even more better once you stain it. So I don't want that side to show. You want that side to be the back. So I'm going to take some of my white paint. And I'm going to dry brush these sticks, not using a lot of paint. I'm actually only going to dip it one time, actually. I'm getting off as much paint as I can. And I'm just going to like... So 
So after you um dry brush everything, you want to take six of your sticks. The this little part right here. I'm gonna put all of those that in. I'm put don't I'm put that in at the bottom. You want to make sure these is lined up really good. You're gonna take a stick. You're going to measure it. You're going to have it coming off of the side just a teeny bit. And you're going to cut where it... You're going to cut this extra piece off. And when you cut the extra piece off, you're going to have a stick like this. And you want to do... You want to make three of those sticks. You want to make three of those sticks. So I'm going to go ahead. And what I did was... I took... I'm just going to line them up. I took my little hand saw. And I believe the Dollar Tree sells these hand saws. And I just saw right through the stick because it's pretty um thin. And you're going to need three sticks the same size. So go ahead and do that. So after you get everything straight, you want to take, you want to make sure all these are straight, like I said. And even as you can get them. You're going to glue it in the middle. It is not supposed to be even on each end. You want to go ahead and glue it down make sure the glue make sure the stick the stick just need to be on every other stick because that's what's going to be holding these sticks together this part when you glue it so after you do that you're going to get your vinyl before you glue your other sticks and you're going to stick your vinyl down on here. Because then your other stick will go right here. And then your last stick will be going down at the bottom. So I actually had a good idea. Now, instead of making this the bottom where the holes are at in it. I'm going to make that the top. I like that better at, as the top part. So now the part that has the holes in it. If you use these same exact sticks. You will see what I'm saying. It have like little tiny holes in it. Because they actually paint mixing sticks. And this is the part where you can you, you, hang, you hold to mix it. So they have the little. little I don't know what you call them in them. I'm going to make that part the top. And I'm actually going to glue my stick over top of the holes. And this is how I will be placing it, just like this. And then I'm going to put my farmhouse right here. So this is how I plan on having it set up. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this stick at the top so I know where my words need to be. And I'm going to go ahead and put down my farmhouse and I'm going to come back. So after I added my words, I added another piece of stick in the middle and I added just one going down. And I did not paint my thumbtacks. I left them gold. I stuck them onto here and I, just, and I took my sand brush and I just sanded the gold off of the, off of the, the um, tacks. Because the black paint is not going to stay onto the tack. And probably because I had acrylic paint. 
because it kept rubbing off. So I just went ahead and took them and stuck them on here. Just pushed them down inside of the wood. And I put another piece of stick going to make kind of making this look like a Z. And I probably should have put it over here, but I, I think it's fine going across right here. And that's all I did. And I just took and I distressed the ends of the wood. And I distress right here and just the size you can distress it how you want. Next, I'm going to take this old piece of hardware I just actually found. I did not know I had it. And I'm going to glue it onto this. This is, this is optional. You don't have to use this. I had it. And if you want to go to like Home Depot or you might have an old piece of drawer handle around. I think it makes it look really cute after adding this so I'm going to add this with just some hot glue I don't have no E6000 if you do you might want to add some E6000 to this handle and that's how it turned out even though I had a lot of last minute things and I normally don't like to do that because I want y'all to understand what I did and see what I did but DIYs don't always work like that so this is how everything turned out with the farmhouse little wall sign well barn door wall sign so it is just a look of how everything turned out this is my little barn door it's hot in my ear a little bit but it's okay this is my little basket crate I don't know what you might want to call it you can just see it's distressed a little bit I just threw some flowers in here I like this because you can switch the flowers out for the season you don't have to leave them in there you can even take the burlap off if you want maybe add a different color burlap to it If you have any questions, because I know I added um, extra stuff in, I don't care if it's a million questions, I will answer those questions. Just leave me those questions down in the comments, and I will answer them. But I will make sure I leave a list of everything I use, even last minute stuff I use, in the description box. And that's it. That's all. If you like these DIYs, please give me a thumbs up. Share. Tell me which one you like the best. Tell me something different I could have did that you would have liked to see. You know, so just let me know which one was your favorite. And thanks for watching. And bye.